Hi, I'm Tracy Brosman, co-founder of World Wellness Education, a community forum to educate, encourage, and inspire a better way of life. Together, we can make a difference, one story at a time. You may have heard that Jack LaLanne recently passed away. Jack was a guru of fitness. A few years ago, he said, I can't die. It would ruin my reputation. So when the news of his passing was published, a friend of mine who smokes, drinks, and eats unhealthy texted me this quote, eat right, exercise, and die anyway. My friend is right, we are all gonna die. However, let's discuss the quality of life that exercise can bring to you. Jack died at 96 years old, and he maintained a healthy lifestyle until his death. He still worked out two hours a day, Along with exercise, Jack also focused on other areas of his life, such as diet. His diet consisted of mostly unrefined, unprocessed, fresh food. But with one of the first and longest running shows featuring exercise, that is what he was known for. Over the years, Jack also performed many feats that would seem impossible. At the age of 70, handcuffed, shackled, and fighting strong winds and currents, he towed 70 boats with 70 people from the Queensway Bridge in Long Beach Harbor to the Queen Mary. This was a distance of a mile and a half. Now, obviously, Jack took fitness to a new extreme level. However, I think we can learn a lot from his life. Our society seems to think that aging means that you will have aches and pains, that your memory will slip, and that illness is normal. We need to change our expectations though and look for examples of individuals who have taken control of their health. When you come across people like Jack LaLanne, Paul Bragg, and many others, read their stories. Allow them to inspire you to make changes in your life that are necessary. Your lifestyle can lead you to maintain your youth much longer than the average person. Of course, one of these changes is exercise. We all have good intentions when it comes to exercise, but we seem to allow other things to get in the way. Either we start out gung-ho or we take on challenges that are not fun. With the first strategy, the day after our workout, we are so sore that we can't move. This causes us to give up the next time we're supposed to exercise. The second strategy isn't going to last because it simply is not fun. You have to choose an exercise that you enjoy for it to be something that you will continue to do even when you don't feel like it. Take the time to think about what you really like. For example, if you enjoy nature, then take a walk in the woods. This will give you the exercise you need to stay young and it will feed your soul. On the other hand, perhaps you love to dance. So make dancing your exercise. This type of exercise plan is one that you can stick with because you will look forward to doing it. Best of all, when you are doing something you love, you will not feel like you're doing something you have to do. Along with finding an exercise that you love, you will want to take it slow. If you go from being a couch potato to dancing for hours on end, you are gonna be so sore that you will not be able to move for a week. Whatever exercise you choose to start out, start out slowly and gradually build up to longer workouts. Let's say that you have decided you would like to be a runner. Do not start out with a two or three mile run on the first day. Run for a minute, then walk for a minute or even run for 30 seconds and walk for a minute. Repeat this for a total of 10 minutes. Then gradually increase the time from 10 minutes to maybe 15 minutes and decrease the walk time by 30 seconds. This allows your body to build slowly. Plus you avoid all the pain from stiff muscles and you have a much greater chance of being successful. Finally, your exercise plan needs a goal. If we go back to the running example, a good goal would be to look out three to six months and find a 5K race to run. When the goal is in place, you can set up a plan of increasing the distance and the length of time you are running until you are able to meet the challenge. Exercise is indeed the fountain of youth. You will look better and you will feel better. 
Once you implement a regular exercise program, then it becomes addictive, and I cannot think of a better addiction. This information is not meant to be medical advice. No action or inaction should be taken solely on the contents of this information. Instead, you should consult appropriate healthcare professionals on any matter relating to your health and well being. Thanks for joining us. Remember, you can catch this show each week on Lakefront TV. To find out more about World Wellness Education, check out our website at www.worldwellnesseducation.org. We'll see you next time.